Hi you guys, Katherine Williams here. And today I'm going to be vlogging the episode that I've titled, Save Your Opinions. It's like we live today in a society built upon judgments and opinions. A society where uniqueness or being different is only accepted when it's within certain guidelines. And of course, that seems to be sort of a contradiction being that difference typically referred to something outside of the norm. I mean, why should someone feel that they have to be subjected to be a certain way for acceptance? Today, we see all forms of people being different. You see people portray their uniqueness through the use of makeup, hairstyles, clothes, or even body modification. Yet, society doesn't always deem this acceptable. It seems that we live during an era of trying to voice our individuality, yet with stipulations placed upon us. Society places boundaries on when and where we're allowed to express ourselves. Self-expression is all about freedom to be yourself. When you limit a person to what they can and cannot do outside of the law, then you're figuratively stripping them of their freedom. In society, we see a lot of this being done within races and cultures. We live in a society where we're separated by culture boundaries. Beyond the natural laws, culture boundaries restrict us to live a specific lifestyle, stripping us of living the life that we want to live. The cause of this mostly is related to traditions brought down by our ancestors. A way of life is kind of already constructed for us before we even born. As we enter the world, it's like we're exposed to everything it has to offer, but mentally we're limited to what we intake. Depending on the culture or nationality you were raised in, it's like you're programmed to think a certain way. And if you veer, then of course you're punished. This creates a level of fear for one to self-express. In 2015, it was reported that a Texas man was kicked out of a Houston restaurant for having face tattoos. I mean, I feel no other way to describe this other than outrageous. I mean, he had done nothing wrong. Instead, he was a customer purchasing their services. I mean, I don't know about you, but I find this highly inappropriate for any establishment to treat their consumers. Following this, in 2016, an article titled High School Students Threatened with Suspension for Wearing Natural Hair. It's like, I just want to let that sink in. <laughs> like, it was reported that a group of high school students attempted to wear their natural hair and was told that it was untidy and unprofessional. Distasteful is such an understatement. For one, these styles were placed in such a way that is natural for women of color. To add chemicals attempting to sh permanently straighten it or make it look normal, would be damaging the hair. Yet regardless, these young girls go to school for an education, not to be judged based on their looks or tormented. Both of these incidents prove that society portrays self-expression as unruly. These are clear examples of judgment being placed upon individuality. I mean, is it fair in any instance for an opinion to be placed upon something that has nothing to do with you? I mean, people define their happiness in many different ways. Whatever happened to the old saying, hey, if you like it, I love it, as long as I don't have to show it. I mean, if it makes someone happy while not affecting you, isn't it ideal for you to be happy for them? I mean, in no way am I claiming that one should alter their beliefs to satisfy anyone. However, I do believe that one should leave their opinions to themselves if it did not promote or add to someone's happiness. I mean, where does anyone feel that it is okay to judge someone's creative thoughts or actions? I mean, everything we experience today created by man came from an individual, unique idea put to action. I mean, I'm a stronger believer in if you're not breaking the law, then what are you doing wrong? Self-expression is something I feel everyone should practice and be free of judgment. I mean, we're always told to find ourselves and dig deep, but I mean, think about it. Is it even possible to find yourself without truly being yourself? I mean, hey guys, I really want to leave you guys with that. And this is something that I'm really passionate about. And I think about all the time 
And you know, before you think about judging someone, like if not one saying, then the next. If you don't have anything nice to say, then just don't say it at all. But yeah, you guys, Catherine Williams again, and thank you so much for watching. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.